Let us see the solution of the problem I provided you in the last video on the control system on root locus topic. So the problem was we had to find out equation of the asymptote of the root locus plot crossing the positive real axis. So to solve this, let us first draw root locus. So let us take a S plane first. So this is my S plane. This is my J omega. At y axis and this is my sigma. So from the open loop transfer function we have three poles at s equals to 0, at s equals to minus 1 and at s equals to minus 2. So let us depict the poles. One is at s equals to 0, one is at s equals to minus 1, another one is at s equals to minus 2. So this is 0, this is minus 1 and this is minus 2. So let us extend this line further okay so we have the three poles 0 at, at 0 minus 1 and minus 2 now we have to draw the root locus now if you see by standing at minus 1 at right hand side we have only one root so we have since we have the odd number of the roots so one root locus branch will be present between minus 1 and 0 so there will be a root locus branch similarly if I say this is minus infinity and if I check from minus infinity, we can see there are three roots in right hand side. So there will be a root locus branch between minus 2 and infinity. So it will be a root locus branch. Now we have to find out equation of the asymptote. So for that we have to draw asymptote line and for that we have to find out angle of asymptotes. So let us find out angle of asymptote first. So angle of asymptote formula is 2 alpha plus 1 180 degree divided by p minus z where p is number of ports in open loop transfer function and z is number of zeros in open loop transfer function so if we see open loop transfer function we have poles that is at s equals to 0 minus 1 and minus 2 so we have three poles and we have no zero that is z equals to 0 and we know alpha will be 0 1 dot 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 p minus z minus 1 so alpha will range from 0 1 and 3 minus 1 that is 2 so 0 1 2 now putting the value of alphas and uh, we will calculate angle of asymptotes so if i put alpha equals to 0 here it will be 180 degree divided by 3 so it will be 3 only 60 and if i put alpha equals to 1 it will be 3 into 180 degree by 3 and if I put alpha equals to 2, it will be 5 into 180 by 3. So 5 into 180 by 3. So I got three angles that is 60 degree and 180 degree and 300 degree. So now let us draw the root locus. Okay, so before drawing the root locus, let us find out the intersection point of the this asymptote with respect to positive real axis so let us find out centroid so centroid is sigma equals to summation of real part of poles so poles are we have at 0 minus 1 and minus 2 so real part of pole will be 0 plus it will be minus only So, summation of real part of poles, it will be 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus summation of real part of 0. Since we have no 0, so it will be 0 divided by P minus Z. That is number of poles minus number of zeros. So, we have 3 poles and no 0. So, sigma will be minus 3 by 3. It is minus 1. So, we got... This is my centroid sigma equals to minus 1 on this minus 1 pole only. Now I can draw the asymptotes. We have three asymptotes making angle uh, 60 degree, 180 degree and 300 degree. So let us draw them. The one will be this and uh, another will be this one by making 180 degree and uh, another will be making 300 degree. So let us depict the angle. So 
so this angle is 60 degree and uh, this angle is 180 degree and uh, another is 300 degree so we have three asymptotes and we have to find out equation of the asymptotes so we will have three equations and uh, okay so we have the point by through which these equations are passing that is minus 1 it is minus 1 comma 0 okay and uh, we can find out the slope of these equations also so let us see this is uh, 1 this is 2 and this is third line that is third asymptote so for first asymptote for first asymptote I can find out the equation before that let us find out the slope see if you see this asymptote is making 60 degree angle with positive real axis then its slope will be 1060 that is root 3 and we know it is passing through the point minus 1 comma 0 and I got the slope of the line and I also got the point by through which this uh, line is passing so I can find out the equation of line then equation of line is let us say this is x1 this is y1 so it will be y minus y1 plus 2 slope into x minus x1 here y is if you see this is j omega axis and this is sigma x is sigma and uh, y is omega so this is omega minus this y1 point is 0 plus 2 m is root 3 into x is sigma minus x1 is this will be 1 so I got omega equals to root 3 into sigma plus 1 so for the first asymptote this is the equation similarly for second asymptote we have m equals to if you go back this is making 300 so 10 300 will be minus root 3 so its slope will be minus root 3 and similarly by same formula we can find out its slope also or sorry its uh, equation also so the equation will be omega equals to minus root 3 to sigma plus 1 and for third asymptote since slope of this asymptote this third one is 0 so equation will be omega minus 0 equals to 0 into sigma plus 1 so equation will be omega equals to 0 so these are the solution for this question